Hello everybody, hope everybody's having a good day. Just doing a little bit of cleanup here. And I got a comment on one of the videos, is about the 1.0 EcoBoost, how the oil pump wet belt breaks. And the commenter asked, can you do a video on the oil pump, the variable oil pump on the 2.7 liter Bronco, 21 through 24? He said it supposedly works under load. And he is just curious of how that works. So what we're gonna do is as soon as I clean this table off, I'm gonna go show you the workshop manual on how that oil pump works. So if you are interested or curious on how the variable oil pump works on that 2.7 liter, then stick around and I'm gonna go into engine uh, description and operation and show you the different components of the lubrication system and how it works. So stick around. See, 2023 Bronco. Mm -hmm. Base engine, description and operation. It's the 2.7 liter. Here's the overview. This is, you know, interface design, engine, dual overhead cam, four valves per cylinder, gas turbocharged, direct injection, composite intake manifold, aluminum cylinder heads, compact graphite iron cylinder block, twin independent variable cam timing, an electronic ignition system with six, ign six ignition coils, and a variable displacement oil pump. And that is what he wants to know about. There's the six cylinders. This is the flow of oil. We'll look at that here in just a minute. And here's the lubrication system. This is the oil pump and it actually has a solenoid. So the continuous variable displacement oil pump is designed to have the ability to change the running displacement upon command, working together with the pressure regulation proportional solenoid, which is that. Uh, it can vary its displacement to produce required oil pressure without wasting energy through bypassed oil flow or excessively high oil pressure. Therefore, its power consumption is reduced for a better fuel economy compared to a fixed displacement pump. Um, and then I'll go through the parts list here too. The oil pressure in the control chamber, which is number one, Right here back up here is balanced by the force from the pump spring in the running pump this spring right here okay when a given duty cycle control signal is sent to the solenoid valve it will command a given oil pressure if the actual oil pressure is higher than the commanded oil pressure the solenoid valve will supply more oil to the control chamber Produce more pressure in the chamber, push the spring and the eccentric ring down and reduce its running displacement and the oil pressure till the pressure is at the commanded level or vice versa. If the actual pressure is lower than the commanded oil pressure, the solenoid valve will supply less oil to the control chamber or even vent the chamber. Produce less pressure in the chamber, bring the spring to the eccentric ring up, and increase its running displacement and oil pressure till the pressure is at the commanded level. The required oil pressure, i.e. commanded oil pressure, depends on the operation condition of the engine. Therefore, the engine runs with oil pressure at its required level without waste in such a system in order to minimize parasitic energy lost. So, that's the, this is the pump. This is the control chamber. That's the spring. Okay. Oil pump or oil filter and cooler adapter. Number three, which is going to go this way. Oil galley, gallery. Okay. Engine oil flow. That's that one, number five, going that way. Solenoid valve. And then on the valve, you have number seven, which is the A port right here. Number eight is the T port, the tank vent. Oh, excuse me, the A port connects the pump to the control chamber and T port, tank vent port, vent to the crankcase. And that's number eight, which is right there. And then number nine is the P port, control pressure, connect the main oil gallery. And that's right there. So if we go back up, click on this yellow picture. 
there's the control valve right there and we can zoom in on this a little bit so see how the oil flow pump picks it up goes in goes all around the engine the oil filter but this control valve right here solenoid that's what's controlling the variable pump so that's how the variable pump works variable displacement pump uses a control solenoid and a spring directs or controls the oil pressure that way depending on engine load speed all that good stuff i hope this video answered your question sir and i appreciate you commenting on the video as for everybody else i love all the comments i'll read them i appreciate you guys subscribing i love you and i'll see you on the next one